one of these two over here. I assume, presumably, to, uh, oh, he can't train, uh, to send them, he can't train spies. He's already building stuff. He can train spies. Let's see what about one of these guys closer to the west. Nope. Sure, we'll build a spy there. That's about as far west as we can get at the moment. So, uh, he'll build a spy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. By the way, I should mention that normally I do intros and exits for my uh, Let's Plays, but considering that I'm uploading this on our group YouTube page, not my normal YouTube page, and we have a 15 minute time limit, I'm not going to be doing intros and exits for this one. I'm just going to be cutting them off at every 15 minute uh, interval. And let's see. Do, 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 do. Hang on. That is it uh, as far as spies in the first turn. Of course, we lost the spy. <laughs> uh, he did have plans for that spy further on, and if we have the budget for it, what I will do is go ahead and try and replace that spy that we lost. Uh, we never talked about that as a contingency, obviously. We will learn to do so in the future. However, um, on behest of the advisor of diplomacy, he wanted two diplomats trained. One in the first five turns and one in the second. And that's the agent's department. And while he didn't specifically state that he wanted that done, the agent, uh, advisor of agents, he did say that he allowed room in his budget for the training of diplomats. So we will assume that he agrees that diplomats should be trained. And we will train one of the diplomats right there and then uh, starting uh, next turn when that diplomats made we will be sending him northward to try and make contact with uh, other civilizations okay what else do we need that's it for spies for the first turn all right now we have um, strategy now, let me give you an idea, an overall view of what our military strategy is going to be for the first 10 turns. Our advisor strategy has said that of most importance is Western Osgiliath right here uh, as a defense against Mordor, which Mordor will very likely try to take Eastern Osgiliath very quickly. So we want to take Western Osgiliath to keep them at bay. And as such, we are to uh, move our forces to take uh, Western Osgiliath soon. Uh, and then, after our forces have taken Western Osgiliath and we have rebuilt up to a specified amount, we are to march north and try and take uh, this castle right here. For more, more so to keep the enemy from occupying it than uh, for us wanting it ourselves. But that is our objectives in the east for the first ten turns, to try and get that done, or at least be well on the way of doing that. Um, and of course, over here in the west, we are to uh, join forces uh, and uh, attack this town right here. I believe it's Anol. I, I'm not quite sure exactly. Um, yeah, Anolund. We are to try and take this settlement as well within the first 10 turns. And optionally, if everything is going well, we are to uh, send an army down to this island to attack this uh, fishing village right here. You can't see it yet, but it's right there. Um, and that is what our objective, strategically, is for the first 10 turns. So, with that, we now move on to our troop movement. Which is how we're going to achieve these uh, strategic goals in the first 10 turns. Alright, now in turn 1, in the first turn, we will send all the units except the Steward of Denethor from Minas Tirith over to Faramir, who will then take Western Osgiliath after a few turns. So, we are to send everyone to Faramir. And Faramir yes, my lord. is my lord. to siege Western Osgiliath. We shall engage. We shall prevail. All right, let's make a couple of those. That should be all I need. Can I make some ladders or siege tower? I'll take two turns. It's fine. I don't mind taking two turns. But is it worth it? Yeah. Eh. Eh. Might as well. It's not like it's hurting me, is it? Nah. All right. 
Maintain siege. Yes. Now, um, we are to siege them. I believe for five turns, or on the fifth turn, we're supposed to attack. So anyway, uh, do 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 do. Turn one. Uh, my Osterith Fairmer will take Western Alfgudlius after a few turns. We will send one unit from of Gondor militia to Lynn Hare's fishing village from Tarnost. Tarnost. You are to go there. Okay. And then, uh... Meanwhile, in Dol Amoth, we will try to persuade the military developer to train a unit of militia archers and militia cavalry. Cavalry. Um, he is doing that, I do believe. Yes, we are recruiting that and... and... Archer and militia as well. Uh, when they are trained, we'll send them to the Linthier too. Yes, but that was not for the first turn. Our ship can go to the port of. All right, so our ship Ship's is ready. being sent over here. Yes, sir. Full sail. In uh, Pelger, we'll try to get another unit of Pelger Marines and another ship trained. Unfortunately, you will not be getting that other ship. <laughs> we will then have Boromir set off to join up with the rest of the army in the fishing village, as well as a unit of axemen. So, Boromir, who is, I believe, here, will be taking a unit of axemen my lord. Your orders, my lord. and heading down towards the fishing village right over here, which will take one, two, three, four, five turns, it, it would appear. Making camp here. All right. Uh, finally, we will move one unit of Gondor militia from Lynn here the fishing village. What? What fishing village are we talking about exactly? Oh, okay. This fishing village. <laughs> huh? Alright. Uh, okay, so... Finally, militia from the fishing village. Okay. So, we're taking militia to the fishing village because that's what he told me to do and then in the west hopefully it will be possible to train one unit of Gondor militia and both uh, no that did not happen <laughs> hang on folks okay where were we uh there were no more units to be being built there so that's it for this turn okay um there is a small discrepancy I was supposed to have about 40% of our armed forces attack Osgiliath to try and prevent as many losses as possible. However, there's nowhere near 40% of our forces there. Um, and I'm looking, and I don't see a whole lot coming to help them. Uh, I'm assuming the advisor of troop movement wants me to take it with pretty much that force, which is not undoable at all. Um, however, that's a dispute that they shall have to bring up with each other. I am merely the moderator. Alright, um... So, we have troop movements done. We have army development, cultural development. Uh, we have <laughs> killed our spy. <laughs> and making new ones. Um, there is one thing that we still have to go over, which is uh, building towers. We have... 4,200 left in our military funds, and we do need to bring, uh, build some, uh, some guard towers. Why don't we take you? Can you? Cannot build a watchtower whilst laying a siege. How about you come over here? Because, well, next turn I'll take care of that. Because we're not going to be sieging it till turn 5, so I'm sure I could probably build a watchtower with him while I'm sieging it. Uh, perhaps. And then we need to build some watchtowers over here, so... Um, let's move him out here real quick. Uh, 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 uh. Come here. Come here. There's a good boy. Only generals can commission watchtowers. Oh, never mind then. You come back over here. As you wish. Alright, uh, let's take the general. Yes, my lord. Let's come back over here real quick. I'm just experimenting. Can I construct a watchtower here? Or where can I construct one? About Your there. Lord, my lord. 
Yes. There we go. Um. Well, this is basically the advisor suggested building a watchtower near Ausgiliath, and then watchtowers along the coast here. So, let's build one watchtower. Let's let's move yes, him a little we're... further. I want to get him back to the city um, soon. Let's move him over there. Watchtower is two hundred. It's in the land on the side of the enemy territory. Sure. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. I'm not sure. Oh, is it done? Is it constructed? Can I send him home? Yes. Oh, hey, look at that. Nice. Cool. So that's one watchtower spent. Um, let's see how many we can get. Uh, maybe one more this turn? No, no, no. Where's my general? You. My lord. Uh... Hmm. I kind of want to send him down here. Continuing tomorrow. Yes. Okay. And then I will bring him back to that town. Orders. I know that's not exactly what the uh, advisor suggested of me. However, I believe this would be following the spirit of what they wanted done. Um, and the watchtowers are vital to our uh, knowledge of the areas around us. So we'll need one more watchtower here. Probably one more here, one at Osgiliath. Um, we already have a watchtower there. And I think this area is pretty well seen. Uh, maybe one over here at some point. Mm, sure. Your orders, my lord. You come here. Build yourself a watchtower. This tower will keep vigil and go back lands. to the town. Okay. That's all I'm going to do for now. I don't want to go stir crazy on the watchtowers. I don't want to get too far away from what my advisors have strictly for, uh, told me to do. However, that is three watchtowers, so that's 600 taken off the military budget. Hopefully they won't get too upset. <laughs> so they're at 3676 left. And my pen is not writing. I'm pretty sure that uh, the the advisor of troop movements will agree with the necessity of the watchtowers, and um, the minor cost to the budget is worth the gain, I believe. So, uh, and eventually we'll have to put watchtowers throughout our whole kingdom, so that you know it's not in darkness like this. All right. Um, so we got the watchtowers, we have the military movement, we have military development, cultural development, diplomacy is taken care of, spies are taken care of, uh, strategy has been gone over, treasury has been gone over, is that everyone? I believe so. Cultural development. Okay, so I think we are done for turn one, folks. Yay, hopefully all the turns won't be this slow moving. Let's take a look at... Uh, what we're projected, uh, well, of course, we've been building so much. Alright, so let's go ahead and end turn one, shall we? And see what happens. Do 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 do. Gundabad. I said gun bad. Gundabad. Uh, a young woman of fitting breeding and station has been discovered as a potential partner for this man. Would you like for the wedding arrangements to be organized now? Um. Uh. No. We can deal with that later. No one's ever told me about that stuff. <laughs> 